Here is the crazy thing guys. Today I'm going to discuss about my honest experience working as a QA with almost 10 years experience. If you are ready with this, just type ready in the comment and let's get started. I have like lots of points that I wanted to discuss and let's get started with this. Alright, first problem that I have basically faced, it is just uh, because I'm being honest, right, is problem of salary with the QA people. I know most of you will agree that when you are starting as a QA, right, you are paid less as compared to developer as well as DevOps. I don't know why this is happening especially in india or asia specific where you will be paid less as a qa but this is not true in germany or not true in the us uk that i have not seen where those people are paid equally but what happened i don't know in in india and all it's because of the nature right there is a problem with the salary initially that i have seen especially right but after some time it, it got improved basically whenever you reach a particular senior level right it basically will improve but yeah we have a problem with the salary right that was one of the important point that i wanted to have second important thing is i think respect problem especially with the qa where qa were given a less respect as compared to the developers i know you will agree with this right just type agree in the comment if you agree with this right as well as the recognition right you i don't know why qas are never recognized whenever you are releasing a product you basically have done everything to release that project that you are basically doing right there is a zero work right now but nobody will recognize you i mean they will not even give you okay you have done some amazing work especially in india that i have seen even in uk and us also many of my students already say that that yes sir we don't get recognized as compared to the developer and devops i don't know why third important point i just want to highlight this is my honest job experience right so blame game especially to the qa which means that if something wrong happen you are the first one where everyone just will start giving blames on e each other but you are the first one who will get all the responsibility right so if you are a qa then trust me you will get stressed due to this with my 10 years experience i have seen this face multiple times right where whenever there is a bug they will just give you that okay because of you it there is a bug in production and they will start blaming you on this right how many of you agree with this just type agree i think you will agree on this point also right and the third one i know it's most of them are negative but these are important things that i wanted to highlight so another point is a bad manager i don't know why in especially in qa especially in india right we have a very bad managers in the qa industry i don't know uh, so in one of the previous to previous company right i was basically reporting to a developer manager right and he was very very great but whenever i was assigned to a particular qa manager they were not good i don't know why it is because of the traditional qa thing qa mindset right you always want more i don't know what happened but generally we i have seen very bad managers across but right now i think in some of the decent product based companies we generally have good managers but no it this is not exactly true but this is i think it it is true sometimes right another point is basically the quality of the quality engineer is low which means that it is very hard to find good quality engineers right now in the market right what i have seen i have taken more than 200 300 plus interviews almost like 300 now trust me very very good quality engineers are there most of them are just used to the software testing and they are not even aware how to find a proper box this is what i have seen right so another important point uh i want to highlight over this owner's job experience right is that most of the companies that basically are hiring QA, they want cheap labor. What they do is they generally hire a normal manual tester and then they will basically see that, okay, because there were some people that they are going to hire who they had high packages, but they hired some cheaper labors, you can say cheap manual testers, right? And there is they, now they are facing the issue because of the box. Until they fail or there is a production bug, then they basically realize this. This is what I have seen multiple, multiple time, guys. Yes, this is what true. So this was all about it. Uh, this is uh, this was a small video where I basically discuss about my own experience, right? What are the different points are there? I hope this makes sense. I hope you are able to get something important. And if you are jumping as a fresher and manual tester, if you are facing these kind of issues, I know uh, it this makes sense, right? Thanks a lot for watching this video, guys. I hope it makes sense. And make sure you give a like to the video as well as subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.